Hello guys, KP Shamino here with a new video for Fishing Planet St. Patrick event and I'm done with all the missions so now it's time to show you guys all the rewards and some tips and tricks that I saw on the way. It's going to be one of my last videos for this event. Maybe I'm going to make one more video uh, how you need to farm bait coins on certain levels. I was thinking on three positions that I can use and show that to you guys depending on your level you can choose what you need to do. So I was a little bit disappointed because I thought that I found a very good bait corn farm uh, but it seems not to work. So I was thinking uh, if I just... I thought that you can always keep buying the high-end rewards with clover coins. But that's not true. The boat, the kayak, the catapult, the rod pot, you only can buy one time. Because otherwise it was a very good bait coin money maker. But it does not work like that. So it works on the lures, but it does not work on the high-end rewards. That's a pity. So I'm not sure... That once that you got all the shit, uh, all the rewards, that you still need to uh, farm the clover coins. I don't think so, because you cannot do anything with it. So let's start first with the snake heads. So we had two, uh, two missions that we need to do. That was one, uh, yeah, get the golden horseshoe. And then the next one was the extinction of the snake heads. So that was not so easy. It took some time. And then these are the rewards. So the golden horseshoe is here. Then you got the St. Patrick song motorboat, the leprechaun uh, frog coat, the paddy stop hat, and the shamrock glasses. So let's have a look first how much that you can get for them if you got them for the guys that still need to do it. So let's have a look. So I'm going here. So here is the kayak, the Iris Rover. So if I sell him, it's 70 bait coins. That's not so bad. Then here the boat. And by the way, the boat is sharing uh, the find with the, the horseshoe in the Amazonian, the 3,333. So you cannot buy it two times. So you, you cannot buy it one time and then get it from the mission. No, you only can get one boat. That's a pity. So if you look here, that's 280. So that's already 350 bait coins for the boat and the Iris Rover. Uh, then we are going to have a look to the other stuff so uh here you can see the paddy stop hat that's 20 then we got here the let me have a look here is the triple uh trishkel rod stand so let's have a look that's not a lot that's 12 and then i think the jacket and then that's nine so that's a decent amount i think around 300 and a little bit uh, bait coins if you sell it if you don't need to have them then the next mission let's have a look what we still got here so uh, that was the snake heads then all the in favor ones that just to build up the clover coins i already said it's a pity that it's not repeatable if you do it once so you need to do all seven of them but that means that you need to get access to the amazonian uh, so uh yeah that's a pity so if you got enough clover coins and that's not so hard you can buy all the coins uh, all the lures that you got here but you can buy these two so you see here the lucky catapult you need to go to the horseshoe in weeping willow uh, you got the leprechaun chest in blue crab island the mako mako you get the rod stand that i just showed you guys then the kayak that i just showed you you got from maron and then the boat so it's i already got the boat from the snake quest Therefore, I just said that you cannot get it two times. That's a pity that it's not repeatable. This otherwise you can make a shitload of bait coins. So, yeah, it's it's a little bit done for me now. I don't need the clover coins anymore. So it's just bait coin farming. So let's have a look what I still need to show you guys. The rod stand already showed. It's only the chest and the catapult. So let's have a look at the chest and the catapult. So we are going to inventory. So here is a chest. This is fifteen. And then the catapult. Uh, I'm wondering where I need to uh, show you guys the catapult, to be honest. Is it under... Yeah, I never used the catapult in this game. So I'm totally clueless where I can find it. Uh, that's a good question. So let's have, have a look that I can find it. Is it under? No. Is it maybe special? K 
Okay, let's try to look a little bit better. Yeah, that's a pity. But I know that the catapult is zero, by the way. But I, I don't understand why uh, I cannot find him. So if I put this here, where is it at this moment? Ah, here it is. So I didn't yet buy it. That's very strange. So that's a pity, but no, this is a really pity because I already did it. So it's not... They didn't put it in my bag. That's a pity. Because normally it need to be here. And I already did it. Maybe I by accident I sold it. That's a possibility too. So uh, it was zero coins by the way. That you get from that, uh, that catapult. So yeah. If you don't use it, don't buy it. But yeah, what are you going to do with the Clover coins? So that was it a little bit, guys. So what I'm going to show you guys now is uh, a lot of people ask me about the rod stand. So what is a rod stand? Uh, I will show you guys it right away. But first we are going to see when you can unlock the rod stand. So the rod stand you can buy in Maku Maku. So that means Maku Maku, if I'm not mistaken, that's level 63. So let's have a look to the... To the shop and the license. So Maku Maku. That's uh, Peru. So you can unlock it at level 58 I think. If I'm not mistaken. So 58. And if you go then to the shop. Uh, and you just have a look to the, to the rod stands here. 58. So you already got access to the triple hold rod electronic. So why would you ever buy it? I don't know it just buy it and just sell it because that's the problem with rod stands I was already thinking yeah people are asking me the rod stand yeah that's cool but you need to be Mako Mako level and on that moment you already got access to a lot better rod stand so that's not really very good another thing that I forgot uh, the horseshoe is 64 gold too guys so don't forget to do that so what I'm going to show you guys now is really quick to end the video i will get the kayak i will get the boat i will get the rod stand uh, here you can see it and let's have a look uh, let's maybe go to new york or something here we go let's go to new york that we can see how it looks the boat and uh, maybe cruise a little bit around with it but first i will show you guys the rod stand so uh yeah let's go to a private room okay let's get this away so this is a rod stand so you guys can see it that's one two three rods you can put it on a dock too but yeah at the end at the level uh what was it 68 or 58 you already can buy another one this is the kayak you guys can see it here so it, it does not look that bad i will show you guys really quick how fast it can go that you see it so it's not that fast five kilometers an hour and let's have a look now to the boat to end the video here you can see it so uh yeah it's a, a real good looking boat this one it's not the best boat but yeah so it's got a sonar let's have a look is it the clicking one yeah here we go yeah it's a decent speed to be honest 44 so uh yeah it's not bad but uh that was it guys so thanks for watching and uh yeah it was a really good event so uh you can make some nice money with it so if you do all the missions that's already 300 bait coins and uh what i see is uh, i'm going to make some more bait coins too so i think at the end of the event probably around thousand bait coins i will farm it and uh, that makes me very happy. That's very good that you can do that. So thanks for watching, guys, to all the St. Patrick event videos the last couple of days. And uh, don't forget to sign in for the tournament, too, because it's going to start in these three hours. Check my other video, too, about getting uh, with the tournament to Amazonium and to the...
to Bolivia if you're low level because it's going to give you access to for the guys that didn't saw my video. See you guys later. Bye bye.